Hey, this is Jay. We're gonna tie a white ghost tube trout streamer. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's uh, not a difficult fly to tie. Great fly to fish for trout and all kinds of critters that, that live in still or running waters. So let's get going here. The white ghost tube trout streamer. And this is, this is what this little beauty looks like. Tied on a tube, a little rabbit strip and some white, a white craft fur brush. Nice bright red comb. Let's get started here. We've got a, uh, it's a nano tube. You could probably use a micro tube, would be just fine. And a clear silicone hook guide and a drop weight. This is probably not the extra small. It's probably a small. So let's get started here. We got some white Vivas thread. And let's uh, let's get a little bit of Loctite to, to lock everything down. Now I could use a uh, Oh, I almost forgot my... I'm going to put a little red tag on this. This is a... This is a Spirit River dubbing. I think it's Seal X. A nice bright, bright red color. It's I think it's Rogue Red. I like this color really well. I like this for butts on my steelhead flies too. It's a little bit fuzzy. There we go. Yeah, let's put a little bit more on. And by doing this in a couple layers, uh, putting one layer on top of the other, it makes it a little bit tougher. Okay, now I could use a body like this. I could use a body like this, or I could use a uh, flat braid. You know, what do I want to do? I think I want this. So we're calling this a white ghost streamer. Um, you know, White streamers have always, always, always been effective. They really have. And, and so you get a combination of white with a little bit of red. And that's quite a nice combination. So let's, uh, let's throw a little rabbit strip in here. Now this is a brown barred rabbit strip. And, and I'm just measuring this so the the uh, the hide will go just a hair behind the hook guard. So let's trim this. And let's put a little bit of a taper in the front. And we're just do we don't have to do that. We're just doing that to reduce the bulk. Let's tie that in. So let's get another little tiny bit of super glue here. So now let's get some. You know, I'm a bad boy. I was. This is uh, angel. This is angel hair. I was calling this ice wing. It kind of is and it kind of isn't. And don't want to get too hung up on these things. But it's nice and light and I'm going to trim this off here and then I'm going to the ends a little bit. Don't want to 
well, I'm, I'm going to roughen up the ends. So, uh, like what I'm seeing so far, I have a white crab. Well, I have. So, what I have here is an EP sparkle brush. So, I'm going to put on one turn of this. Not essential, but it's nice. It gives just a little bit of extra sparkle. Get my wire cutting tool here. Oops, didn't get it. Or I did and didn't know it. Let's, there we go. Now, it's going to be important when I get to the end and finish this fly, I need, to, I need to be able to slide this cone down on it and not have a lot of bulk there. So that's the things I'm being particularly conscious of. Now, I could finish this right here, but I would like a little bit more bulk up front, a little bit more wiggle. So here's a piece, you know, my brush would be much longer. I've got a little piece of this craft fur brush and it's denser in the center and it's nice and light and airy out there. Another color that would be really nice on this particular fly is uh, Senyo's chromatic brush in a live bait. Uh, that would be a good one. Now, when, when you're wrapping these brushes on, you want to try to not wrap down your nice long fibers. And you will be, if, if you, now if you, all you do is watch this video and ignore it, you'll never know. But if you, if you haven't tried these brushes, you give them a try, you will, I, I believe, you will be very pleased with the look and the wiggle that these brushes deliver. So I think I'm right about where I need to be here. And again, this is an extra small cone. If I had a larger cone, I could, uh, I could cover up, I could tolerate, I could hide a bigger thread, a bigger lump of thread there on the head. And you might like to use a, a bigger cone, or you might like to use a gold cone, or a chartreuse cone, who knows what the heck. But I'm particularly enthused with this nice, bright, this is a metallic cone, I think it's brass. This is Loctite. And this cone is, it's really nice, glossy sheen to it. Look at that, that's really the underside. So now I'm gonna finish off and this tube will be rigged with a little bitty hook right back here. You use a um, clinch knot and you, uh, that's probably too big. Yeah, it's too big. I'm gonna use my razor, I'm kinda out of sight here, but I'm gonna use my razor blade to trim that closer. Here we go. Get back in view here. What on earth was I talking about? I was, uh, it had something to do with something. Who knows? I, I like this little bright red cone. Yep, it's metallic, it's nice and shiny. And it's like a very nice little color spot. So here you go. Here's our finished white ghost tube streamer. Um, give it a try.
Go out there, have some fun.